Our Cell Insider presented by AT&T. I'm your host, Brian Dunseth. Real Salt Lake back at training here at Rio Tinto Stadium following Friday night's 0-0 draw at CenturyLink Field in the first leg of the Western Conference semifinals. It was all about Nick Romando on the day. Five incredible saves, suffering a face laceration as well as a broken nose. You don't want to be the first team to give up a goal because the momentum shifts really quick. And uh, we pride ourselves on defense, not just in the playoffs, but uh, it matters now. And, and, and uh, the guys are really in tune and focused on, on keeping the zeros in the back. You know that all the games are going to be low scoring. You know that the games are going to be very tight. And if you're allowing opponents a lot of chances and getting scored on a lot going into this time of the season, I think you have very little chance to succeed. So uh, I feel like we're in the exact right spot we need to be. What you're looking for is a draw or a win on the road for these away playoff games. So um, we were able to accomplish that. Uh, There's a couple chances, you know, maybe could have changed the game in our favor and a couple chances uh, for them as well. So it's a tight, tight game. We know that it's going to be similar here. And uh, we're just hoping that the grass will, you know, play a little bit better and, and um, you know, more forgiving. Despite being shut out at CenturyLink Field, some good news for head coach Ziggy Schmidt. Forward Eddie Johnson back in training after missing the previous two weeks because of a hamstring injury and a possibility that he could be in the starting 11 Thursday night. We prepared the last match as if Eddie was playing and then talked about um, what it would look like if he wasn't. Uh, and then we'll do the same thing with Rosales this week. Uh, we'll talk about uh, obviously what we saw when he played against him just uh, five days ago and what it might look like if he's not on there. Uh, and we expect Eddie to play, so uh, we'll have our guys prepared for that. But, you know, there's, there's no secrets anymore. <laughs> We've played each other enough times and seen all of our players that, that I think we all know exactly what to expect from each other. We've got to look at some, uh, some videotape. Obviously, Eddie's a fantastic dynamic player for them. We, um, they're going to probably look for balls over the top more. Um, but, again, we've got to be prepared for everybody. They have a lot of special players, like you said, Montero, Rosales, um, Zakawani when he's in. So, so we've got to make sure that, that we're ready and focused uh, the full 90 minutes. Following the 0-0 result at CenturyLink Field, a must-win situation for both teams as they look to head to the Western Conference Final as we're expecting the seventh consecutive sellout here at Rio Tinto Stadium. We believe in us, you know, we believe in our team. So, so the Thursday, I think, is going to be a tough game, but I think we, we can do it. We have to, to say thank you, you know, to, to, to the people here, you know, that come every game, you know, to support us. Um, I hope, no, we... we we can give them uh, a good result Thursday night. We did the job in, in Seattle, and, and uh, we're excited to be in, in front of our fans on our turf um, in, a, in a very important game. Back a couple years ago, we had Dallas away first, and uh, it was 1-1 for most of the game. We were able to, uh, we came back with a loss, and we still felt pretty good about it, but we came up short, and uh, you know we were able to do one better this time. So hopefully we can get it done. I mean, it's the stage is set for us, and uh, you know I know these fans are ready to erupt.